But I'm hoping that my hopes will change. I'm hoping that my hopes will change. Yep. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's special feature. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It is I, Nadia the Nerdy. And I am super excited because today I am going to be talking about Avatar The Last Airbender, one of my all-time favorite topics. But more specifically, I'm going to be talking about the new Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender adaption that is set to come out in February of 2024. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I am a huge Avatar The Last Airbender fan. Like... <sighs> Exhibit A and B and C. So yeah, this show is gonna be coming out pretty soon and I have to say, when the announcement first was made, I don't even know when, what was that, like 2019-ish? Somewhere around there. When the announcement was first made, I was super excited. Instantly, I was on my phone saving Avatar memes. I don't know why that was my response, but that was my response. I have a cache of Avatar memes on my phone specifically for from that announcement. They don't even have to do anything with the announcement itself. It's just I was like living in a little avatar moment at that moment. Regardless, I was initially hella hyped for this show and I felt like this was really a chance for there to be a redo, a correction, so to say, of the blasphemous movie that shall not be mentioned that is currently being mentioned. Okay. My name is Om. This show kind of felt like a chance for a live action to truly do Avatar the justice that it deserves, that it did not get in the, the movie that we all acknowledge doesn't actually exist. It was a bad dream, right? I was also especially excited because at the beginning, Mike and Brian, the original creators, were heavily involved in the process, and I felt like that was an incredibly good sign. So not only were the OG creator is going to be involved, but also Netflix had explicitly stated that they weren't going to whitewash the cast, like the blasphemous film that shall not be mentioned. And that's really important to be culturally appropriate and to cast how it was created to be. None of that weird pronunciation of the names. None of the racist casting. None of that. <laughs> None of that. No Ong. And I'm the Avatar. All of that to say that when it was first starting, I felt really hopeful. We cannot give up hope. But as time went on, my initial excitement started to fade because a few things went down that made me start to question whether it was going to be actually good or whether it was a false hope. <laughs> The first controversy that I heard about this show was with the casting of Sokka. They ended up casting an actor named Ian Osley, which, okay, that's fine. Like, that could be good. He does have Sokka vibes when you look at him. So where's the controversy, right? Apparently, it has been allegedly claimed that he lied about his native heritage to qualify for the part of Sokka, which, let's remember, Netflix's whole plan was to not whitewash. So if that were the case, that he actually did lie and the tribe that he was claiming to be from was faked, then that is an issue. There was a huge public outcry when this became a thing and people were putting him on blast. Like people wanted him to quit. They wanted Netflix to fire him. They spammed his Instagram account so much so that he didn't post for years, like three years or something like that, maybe less, like two years. You know, he went silent, but Netflix decided not to fire him. He's still Sokka, and here we are. That is what it is, because, like, if he did lie, obviously that's terrible, but there's nothing we can really do about it at this point. But maybe he didn't lie. If anybody actually has more information on this, I would love if you could comment and let us know where is that controversy at right now, because I am not sure. I haven't really seen much about it recently, so 
so I'm assuming like people have chilled out and they're just gonna let him play Sokka. He does look like Sokka apart from the other actor from the other live action that was just so not Sokka and so obviously white. Ian Osley does look like Sokka and if he plays Sokka well and he truly was the best person to be cast for that role, I, I think it's gonna be okay. We'll see. We'll see. We don't know. The second and biggest red flag, in my opinion, was when Mike and Brian publicly left the project. They left over creative differences, and that, to me, spoke volumes. Once that happened, I was like, Huh? Yeah, this is... This is not gonna be what we want it to be, probably, because that was what I was riding on. The fact that Mike and Brian were involved from the get-go really made me feel hopeful for the project. But I mean, we don't know exactly what the details of the creative differences were. If they felt like they needed to leave the production, to me, it's pretty telling. But I also know that around the same time as when Avatar Studios was in the works, so I don't know know how much of that was connected to their decision but either way that's an awesome thing that I'm super excited about and we'll have to talk about in another video because regardless of what happens with this Netflix show there's a avatar studios a whole avatar studios they're totally going to be making our avatar dreams come true they're expanding the universe they're working on new avatars it's gonna be good I'm super excited so regardless of what happens with this show I think that Avatar Studios will will give us what we're really looking for. But anyway, we're talking about live action adoption here, so let's stay on point. So yeah, it's just like when they left, that really had me wondering whether the show was actually going to be good. Coupled with the whole Ian Osley controversy, I was not super excited about it. It also made me wonder if that was part of the reason they left. And this is all speculation on my part. I have not read this anywhere, so don't quote me but I'm just thinking out loud. What if they partially left because the rumors were true, Ian Osley did lie, and they felt like it wasn't true to their vision, it wasn't true to the statements that Netflix had made, and thus they had to leave. I don't know, I don't know, but imagine, like, the drama. Oh my god, you guys. Drama bomb. The tea? That would be crazy. <laughs> Again, total speculation, but like imagine living with yourself if you were the reason that Mike and Brian left a project that was Avatar related. That's their baby, you know? Ooh. <laughs> Even if it wasn't Ian, like whoever made Mike and Brian feel like they want to leave, like, ooh. Sorry, bro. That's, that's rough. <laughs> anyway, we'll see. I mean, I'll probably watch it. I'll probably watch at least the first episode, but I don't have the highest hopes, but I'm hoping that my hopes will change. I'm hoping that my hopes will change. Yep. I have not watched the trailer, so I'm gonna do that with you guys now. We're gonna see how it looks. What's the first peak? Because all of this happened before there were even images out. All we had was the casting. So a lot has happened since then. They've obviously made the show. They've done the whole thing. It's coming out in February and I'm hoping it makes me more excited for this show moving forward. Without further ado, let's watch this trailer and get a glimpse of what it's really all about and then we'll talk about it more afterwards. Okay, full screen baby. Okay, wait, I just have to say the soundtrack already sounds good. It sounds like Time Avatar. Is a funny thing. Is this song called Iroh talking? The oh future. shit. Katara! Sokka! Oh hey, it's Umashu. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh shit, Ozai. The throne room, Suki, she looks great. Oh, okay, I'm kind of excited. It looks... It looks pretty decent. Always remember who you are. Ooh, Azula. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Momo! February 22nd. <laughs> Why am I going to cry right now? 
Oh my gosh. Like, I'm literally tearing up. I'm, like, so sentimental. And Avatar, The Last Airbender, is one of my all-time favorite things. I will say that trailer was amazing. They did a great job, honestly. Like, it got me in my feels. It looks good. You won't see a lot of bending, but we can all agree that it is a million times better than the movie that shall not be named. <laughs> Yeah, that was really cool. The characters look the part. They look well cast, but we'll have to see. We didn't really hear anybody talk or anybody really act out their parts, so I don't know how well it was cast still. They do look the part, so I'm really excited to see how they actually act, what their voices sound like. Do they really truly encapsulate the vibes of the characters? From this trailer, my expectations have been raised. I am a little more hopeful. I'm definitely gonna have to watch it, especially after seeing this trailer. Let's run it back. Let's watch it one more time and see. Oh, that's the comet at the beginning. Time. Oh, nice, okay. Oh my gosh, so they're awesome. probably gonna show the airbenders having to fight the firebenders when the firebenders do the airbender genocide. I think that's what that scene looks like right there, that they're showing a glimpse of. The past. He's saying the past, and it's the air nomad temples with the firebenders coming in. Oh shit, that's gonna be epic. The future is with Katara and Sokka. <laughs> Why am I gonna cry? Wow, Amashu oh, looks so looks good. I can't wait to see the inside of the city because look at those slides. Zuko looks fire though, like. Zuko looks fire. He's a little fire boy. Ozai looks sick and the throne the room looks destroyed. good. The Kyoshi warriors look sick, but again, like, I don't know, there's something about the costumes that just looks so costumey. Especially, like, the scene here, the Kyoshi warriors. I don't know, I'll have to see it in action in the actual show, but just some of the costumes are giving, like, costumes and not real clothes, which obviously we know they're costumes, but that's the thing about an incredible costume costume design is it doesn't feel like a costume it's truly immersive it really feels like those people are just wearing them because that's what they wear whereas this is like it's too crisp let me see how his eyes fit yeah even that oh that's the the crescent island that Aang goes to on the solstice right always remember yeah who you are. wait a minute who are you avatar do you remember who you are though Oh, the scene when Aang sees the burned down forest and he meets Hey Bye. Oh my gosh, and this right here, the following scene, that is, that's gonna be the Agni Kai between Ozai and Zuko. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, the firebending looks sick. I mean, thankfully we have like good technology now, better than when the movie was made. <laughs> Okay, wait, again, it's just so crisp. Like Sokka's leather vest thing, it's just so not worn. These kids are traveling the world on flying bison. They're not gonna be wearing pristine clothes. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm being nitpicky right now, but I don't know, we'll see. But that is the cave of the two lovers. Yeah, I forget the next couple lines, but uh, then it goes. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Secret, 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 secret tunnel, yeah. Also, I'm loving the way Aang's tattoos light up. Appa looks cool. I just appreciate the fact that Appa doesn't have like a human face. So it's like when you compare this to the movie, it's like anything is good at this point. Our standards for the live action avatars are really low right now. Not standards, but our, maybe our expectations is a better word. Oh, Aang's so cute. He does look like Aang though. Ah, oh, they use the actual theme song. That's fire. The sigils, those sigils are sick. Okay, I'm getting more excited. Like the more I watch it, the better I feel. The first comment is, hello future me, the redemption arc hopefully begins. <laughs> See, that's what I was saying. Yep, 
That's it right there. Exactly. Okay, so we're all on the same page here. I think like we're all gonna give it a go. We're gonna see if it's good. It's just like what I was saying about the Harry Potter movie. Huh? It's like if it's good, it's good. That's great, you know, but if it's bad, eh, okay, whatever. Still have Avatar Studios. We obviously still have the original. There's gonna be more Avatar world building coming directly from Mike and Brian. So we still have that no matter what. And then and also, if this show is good, then we also have this to enjoy and we get to go back into that Avatar world in a more real way. Although there's things that you can't capture in live action that cartoons and animation can do so well. Like those little amazing, beautiful facial expressions that just people don't actually make. And to have the same effect, it has to be so exaggerated. So I'm interested to see how they capture that quirkiness that the animated show can capture just some of the facial expressions that Aang makes like you can't even really try to like do them like is that is that a custard in that tart how do you make that facial expression Oh my god. Anyway, as you can tell, even just from the start of this video to now, I'm feeling more optimistic, more hopeful, more excited. I'm feeling kind of happy, honestly. This could be good after watching this trailer. The only things that I could really nitpick at this point were the costumes just feeling too crisp for the world that they're living in. They're beautiful, but they look like costumes. So I'm interested to see how it actually looks in the show when they're in action. See, that's why I I wanted to wait to watch the trailer because I didn't want to just like hate on it before I actually saw what it was. It, there's just context for why I was hesitant. So I guess we'll see February 22nd. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see more of the promo that comes out. What do you think of this trailer? What do you think of this show? Are you feeling excited? Are you still on the fence? I would love to know. So definitely comment down below. If you guys want me to break down this trailer and get into the new Nitty gritty even more than I did here of what scenes are what let me know in the comments and let me know what type of videos you would like to see me make in the future whether it be avatar related or some other nerdy interest that is mutual of ours let me know thanks for checking out this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye bye have a great time